48 hours after losing to Nottingham Forest, Man United lost again, this time away at bottom of the table West Ham. It was an incredible 72 hours which saw Leeds go to 3-1 to favourites to win the title. Man United had lost their two games in hand, Leeds were now a point ahead. But they would still have to get something from their visit to Bramall Lane. Man United would have to better or at least match that Leeds result to take the season to the final game. The penultimate game of the season was against Yorkshire rival Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. The match was put back 24 hours and at the request of the police was given a 12 noon kickoff. A full house at Bramall Lane and the city of Sheffield determined to ruin Leeds United's bid for their first league title since 1974. Chapman flicking it on, but again, Wallace didn't quite read it. And Brian Gale really does look sound, marshalling the Sheffield United defence. What a kick that was. Perkloff underneath it. Batty, back to Newsom, he didn't really want it there. And he's in trouble here as Hodges attacks. And that was real danger for Leeds United then. I don't think Newsom really wanted the ball in that situation. And Hodges recognised his apprehension and almost punished him for it. Beasley getting up strongly, Pemberton's there again! How did that stay out? And for the third time in the game, John Pemberton, the right fullback, arriving late on the far post, has almost punished Leeds United. Lukic's kick held up by the wind, Bradshaw heading it down to Dean, he's got Cork arriving in the penalty box and White had to knock the cross behind for another Sheffield United corner. Gannon will take it. The captain Gale has come forward to stand right in front of John Lukic. Dean on the near post. And Cork far post as well, the ball just touched away. A real scramble in there with Strachan and finally Cork! The veteran goal scorer reacted quicker than anyone else in that untidy scramble and Bramall Lane celebrates a goal that will be celebrated even more vociferously in half of Manchester. It hit Strachan and presented itself beautifully for Alan Cork to score only his second goal as a Sheffield United player. Well, once again, a corner caused Leeds all sorts of problems and it's no surprise that they've scored. Cork's goal has provided a real test of Leeds United's character now. They've got to come from a goal behind. Yes, Howard Wilkins has done his best to take the pressure off them. They've been almost low-key in their approach, as all the real psychological pressure seems to have been on Manchester United. But now, so close, they're looking so edgy. Here's De Rigo. Looks for Wallace getting in behind the defenders. And... Again, Gale doing well, he had to take the responsibility then. I think he was expecting the goalkeeper to come and claim it. Chapman does well with the flick on, no one from Leeds really read it though. Still danger though to Sheffield here. Speed, Batty, Strachan, Wallace. The goalkeeper doing well, this is Batty, but the whistle is gone. A free kick to Sheffield United. Wallace can't believe it. This could be Leeds' last opportunity to get an equaliser before the second half. They've got a free kick, fouled by Beasley on Chapman. Strachan takes it quickly towards Wallace. Was he brought down?
Well, my first thoughts were if Wallace was offside. They seem to prevent the danger, Sheffield United, but this is a horrendous mistake here. It really was a strange one. Strachan began it with a great ball. Wallace got in behind the defender. He was looking for the penalty then. He thought the goalkeeper had brought him down. Gale's clearance, hitting speed, and then going on and almost hitting Wallace. Rod Wallace accepts the gift. It's his 13th goal of the season. Could that figure be ominous for Sheffield United and possibly more importantly for Manchester United? So Leeds United start the second half now on level terms after that late and distinctly fortunate goal at the end of the first half. Chapman turning the ball on for Wallace, the man who got the lucky deflection which has brought Leeds level. Carl Shudd, who's just come on as a half-time substitute for Gordon Strachan getting his first touch. Batty turning it back into speed. It's in the post. And McAllister hits the rebound into the packed fans behind that goal. Leeds United could have taken a major step towards the first division title in the opening seconds of the half. Trevor Francis. Well, as the ball's played in behind Pemberton, speeds onto it with his trusted left foot. I think the keeper gets a great touch to that. Cork with a good header on to Dean. Oh, it's a great effort by Brian Dean and a marvellous save by Lucas. Real Route 1 football then by Sheffield United. One big kick, one good header, one fine shot. And at the end of it, an excellent stop by Lukic. Cork battling away well and finds Hodges, and on it goes to Dean. Great chance here! Lukic denies Brian Dean, but I'm not really sure how much he knew about it. That really should have been Sheffield United going in front. Great ball from Hodges. Dean in open space. Should have scored, but you have to say it's a good save by Lukic. The ball came off the Sheffield United player, so it's Leeds throw. Batty again. That's a foul. Free kick to Leeds United. Pemberton brought him down. Now, this is going to be a really dangerous moment for the home side in this wind and with an injured goalkeeper. If McAllister can deliver this free kick accurately, Leeds have got a lot of potential here. And he has delivered it well, and the keeper's missed it! It's a well flooded ball from McAllister, but it's a bad goal coming out by Rees. And a simple knock in there for John Newsom. Ex-Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield United 1, Leeds United 2. And when the championship is finally sorted out, I wonder, I wonder how vital that goal by Newsom is going to prove to be. Only his second goal as a Leeds United player. It's given them the lead. Cantona, the other Leeds United substitute, hoping to get his chance to prove his skill out on the park soon. Beasley plays a good-looking ball in, and the deflection rather less fortunate from Leeds' point of view this time. Off-speed gives Sheffield United a corner. A good corner as well, and Pendleton takes it his point. It's an equalising goal. I'm sure it went off someone else when Pendleton turned it in. There were a pile of bodies on the near post. It might have hit Chapman or another Leeds player. The 
Does it matter as far as Sheffield United or Manchester United are concerned? It's 2-2. Pemberton turning it back in here. I think it was Chapman it came off. It's a goal. And another vital one in this seesaw game. Yes, Chapman it was who deflected it in. And it's Sheffield United 2, Leeds United 2. Here goes Bassi to the deflection. And this time, the deflection was kind to Sheffield United, not cruel. Corner. Could have been a goal easily. And Gannon knew nothing about it. Now Leeds are going to make a substitution. And so is Sheffield United. Gannon has gone off for them. Dave Whitehouse has come off. McAllister is the player that will be replaced for Leeds by Eric Cantona. So both sides making a substitution simultaneously. Here's Dean. Cleared by speed. Held up in the wind for Chapman. He finds Cantona. Wallace going through quickly. It's lifted back towards Cantona. And Gale didn't really know what he was doing. It's gone in. It's another bizarre goal. And another vital goal for Leeds United. And Paul Van Gale. And his goalkeeper got it horribly wrong. And Leeds United celebrate their third goal. They're back in front again. Another own goal. Well, I just don't know what Gale's thinking up there. Had the opportunity to clear it. He's cleared it to his own net. Rodgers for Sheffield United. It's gone out of play. Or has it? No. Play on, says the referee. Wallace. Cantona. Oh, excellent skill by Cantona. That's a great effort. There is nothing lucky about that. That was sheer skill. Yes, it's a good effort from Cantona. Gets possession of the ball using his strength. Realizes that keeper is handicapped with his bad knee. Let's fly from fully 25 yards. That was close. Well, what a season it could turn out to be for the Frenchman. Dramatically transferred to Leeds United late in the season. He could end up with a league championship winner's medal. The rain is falling heavily. The wind is still swirling. It's like midwinter. Not the beginning of summer here. It's drama all the way at Sheffield United today. And it's not over yet. Barnes cross it. Good one, Lucas just missed it. Far Deflected behind, Dean frustrated again. Only a corner for Sheffield United. We've had 45 seconds of time added. Hard in the mouth time for Leeds as Pemberton drives the free kick in. Newsom has got to get it clear. He didn't realise that Dean was right behind him. He was lucky though. Dean couldn't reach it. It's going to be a goal kick. It might just be enough now. For Leeds to have hung on and taken the point here. Fantastic excitement and anticipation around Ellen Road now. Nick Hennigan, Leeds assistant manager, and Howard Wilkinson down on the bench to celebrate. Leeds United have won by three goals to two. An amazing afternoon of travel lane. A series of deflections and own goals. Bizarre goals and important goals, but smiles all round at the end of it for Leeds United. They've done their bit. They've edged a vital step closer to the league championship. Three points today, a four-point lead now over Manchester United. And the question is, can the old rivals from Liverpool 
to Leeds United, the last big favour they're looking for, and beat Manchester United later today. Leeds have done their bit, they can start the celebrations, but they won't be complete until later today. The final score on this amazing afternoon at Bramall Lane, Sheffield United 2, Leeds United 3.